Hello everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. So while I was scanning through YouTube to see what everybody was up to the other day, T and Art caught my eye. She did a Laramar the other day with mica powder. So I'm like, oh, well that's different. Let me see what that looks like. And she happened to give out the recipe that she used. So I'm going to try to duplicate it. Now I'm not using the same resin she is. I I'm using my casting resin, which is one to one. She's she said hers was one to one as well, but she also said it was low viscosity. Mine is not that low. It's kind of a medium vis viscosity. So if this doesn't work, I'll try it with my deep pour, which is a low viscosity, but that might be a little too low. So I'm going to give it two tries if this one doesn't work. So I will give you the recipe in case you didn't see it. I will also try to remember to link her video in my description box so you can watch hers. So shout out to her. She did a great job. Um, I haven't seen her do one of these for a while, so I definitely did want to jump in there and catch that because I don't generally watch those because I don't want to make a lot of those. Um, I just want to bring you guys something different that most people aren't doing, which is why I don't get into them. But since she gave the recipe, I want to try it to see if it's going to work. So she used her cast and craft white. She used a mica powder of her choice, and then she had a transparent, and then she had a clear. I will put the recipe on the screen as I'm doing it. I'm going to finish mixing my resin. I have half of it poured, and we will get it poured in the same way she did it, and we're just going to let it work its magic, hopefully work its magic, and see what happens on my end. All right, you guys, I'm excited to try this. So I've got all my cups set up here and I'll tell you exactly what I have and I will put it on the screen as I'm talking. So this first cup here, which will be our first pour, is 60 milliliters and this is gonna be white. And she said to put in six drops of Cast and Craft of your white. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just gonna shake it really good. I don't know how big her drops are, but mine are kind of big. So, oops, one, two, three, four, well, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mine are more like squeezes because I cut my hole too big. So we're going to go with it. Hopefully that doesn't ruin the whole thing. I can't remember if she showed the opaqueness of it or not. I'd have to go back and rewatch it. I saw a couple of inspirational videos last night. Hers was one of them, and then I saw another one I want to try to do soon. Okay, but yeah, I think that I think she did show it. I think that looks pretty close. Okay, so that's my white. The second one is 35 milliliters of your mica powder. So since it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to stick with the red theme. So this is my shortcake by Unicone Art. And that's the closest red that I have to red. Seems to be this one, which is why I'm getting low on it. Because when I need red, this is the one I use and it's just a little tiny bottle. She didn't say how much to use, but I'm just assuming enough to get it to where you can't see through it. You don't want it too heavy, I don't think, or you would think it would sink. Like I said, I don't know. I don't do these, so I am not the final say. She's done them much more than me. I know Julie does them all the time. I don't, I don't watch any of those because I'm not going to be doing them, so I'm not trying to learn those, so... I figured with the recipe, I will try it at least once. Maybe twice, depending on the resin. All right, number four cup, 25 milliliters. This is going to be your transparent color. So I've chosen ruby to go with the red theme. So I guess just drip it in until you're happy with the transparency of it. She used pigment. I'm using alcohol ink. And I'm, I'm going to guess that brands and things do make a difference. I don't see how they wouldn't. But we're going to find out. 
that looks pretty transparent and pretty red. Okay. And then the last cup I have sitting here is 40 milliliters, and that's going to stay clear. Now, all we have to do is pour it. So this is the easy part. Let me get that piece of glitter out of here. Don't touch your molds with your fingers. Make sure they're gloved. And for some reason, the silicone to make these ones is very sensitive to fingers and wiping. I don't wipe mine. I will wash it sometimes with soapy water with gloved hands. But generally, this is how you clean these kind of molds. All right, so we're just going to dump this in. Her mold, I think, held a little bit more than mine. Mine only holds five ounces. And her recipe was for about five and a half ounces. So I'm going to probably hold back some of that clear, I guess. And then the same way I mixed it is the same way it gets poured. Mica powder. And you could torch it between two pop bubbles. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, I got the button down for once. Just be careful of your mold. You don't want to ruin your mold. Okay, next layer is the transparent. Which I'm almost to the top of my mold, so I'm not going to be able to put all of this clear in. So I'll put as much as I can in. I'm putting a lot of it in, actually. Oh, I got almost all of it in there. So I'm just going to torch it again. And I do have a little bit left of, I, I mixed up six ounces just because it was easier to do six than five and a half. And I measured with this little tiny medicine cup. So I just marked five, 10, 20, and 30. And that's how I got them in these little cups. As you could see, it's already working. That is a good, a good sign. Um, I'm going to see how it does. I might find some glitter to pop in the center. I'm not sure. I'll think about that for a minute. look at that beauty if the other side is bad this side looks pretty amazing so I've been burned in the past when I, I did this twice a long 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 time ago before um, most people were doing this and it didn't work because I used the wrong resin I think so I just gave up so we're gonna demold this let's see how it looks Are you ready? Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Not the way it's supposed to. I mean, it's not horrible, but the sides are all white. There's some veining, but that's not really the what I was going for. There should have been big blobs. So I'm wondering if it was the resin. I don't like the white sides, but you could always paint those. So this side looks way better. Unfortunately, technically, that's an upside down because of the tapered edge. You can't see the crystal edge, but hey, it's not a complete failure. It's not what I was going for. I may try one last time with a deep pour resin. And then I will give up, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that anytime soon because I have other things that I want to do. So anyway, I'm not sure you want to follow that recipe that I just put on the screen, 
but maybe if you have a thinner viscosity, it might work. So keep the recipe. If you have a thin viscosity resin, try it, see what happens, post it on the Facebook group, and let's see what you come up with, guys. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.